Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey. Work smarter where you are. This is learning at its most fun. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another New Partner Spotlight. Uh, this week, we have with us Intels. Uh, you may have seen them recently at an RTU, um, but if you aren't familiar with them, they are a voice over IP solution providing Fortune 500 features without the high cost. Uh, with me today, I have Keith Goodling, uh, VP of Sales and Marketing. Uh, appreciate your time and joining me today, Keith. Thanks for the uh, invitation, Jonathan, and the opportunity to uh, share more about uh, what we do and, and our great partnership with Redtail. Perfect. Um, yeah, go ahead and I'm just going to let you go jump right into it. I know you got a lot to talk about today, so take it away. All righty. Fantastic. That's what I'll do. So um, going to begin here with um, run through a couple of slides here for folks just to kind of give you an introduction as to who uh, Intos is, and then we'll get into a demo. And uh, as uh, Jonathan mentioned, uh, there'll be time at the end for uh, for some questions. So, uh, so who's Intos? Uh, we're an agile development and full service telecom company uh, that introduces customization and the personal touch, we feel like, to a cookie cutter, one size fits all industry. Uh, we become a business partner um, of the uh, organizations that we work with. And we're also a CRM integration specialist. And one of our most popular, most valuable, and deepest integrations that we've developed so far is with the Redtail uh, database, and it's been uh, phenomenal for us. We're headquartered in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, so look us up if you ever get uh, over this way. And uh, we have US-based support. Um, why VoIP from Intos? Well, apart from uh, the Redtail integration, uh, we do offer big business features at small business pricing that is customized to your usage type. And at the end, there'll be a uh, some information so you folks will know how to get in touch with us so we can get you specific pricing on what uh, it would look like for your organization to utilize our solution. Uh, we have very personal and available support. So the same team that sets up your system and we take care of all of your system setup is the same team that's going to support you moving forward. So they know who you are and uh, how your system uh, is set up. And then we partner with you in growing your business, helping you with efficiency and productivity uh, and enhance customer care and make it easier for you to, uh, to be compliant with call notes um, and et cetera. Um, and then as Jonathan already mentioned, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, you know, give a shout out to Redtail Universities because I think they're phenomenal and uh, recommend anybody who has not uh, taken the opportunity to participate in one of those. Um, uh, encourage you to look at the schedule that remains this year and see if you can't uh, get somebody on your team uh, to one of those. So let's transition out of the uh, slide deck for a moment, and we're going to go to a live, um, to a live look at uh, at a browser. So basically, um, to utilize this um, this integration, um, the first thing you're going to want to do if you're a client of ours is you're going to want to contact our support team, and have them enable the Redtail integration in your system. So that's something that we take care of. That's not something that Redtail takes care of but it's very simple. We enable it, then you come into this section here in the dashboard, put in a username and a password that, uh, that is associated with your Redtail database, and there you go. Um, I'm sure most of you, when you start your, your day in the office in the morning or wherever you're working from, you're gonna open a tab in Redtail, get yourself ready to go uh, in the database. Uh, with our solution, you're also gonna wanna open a tab uh, in what we call the dashboard. And that's what actually connects with your Redtail database and, in, um, and informs, the Redtail database informs this interface here as to who is calling or who you're calling and that type of thing. So uh, a couple of things that I'll point out here before I do a live inbound call so you can see what that actually looks like, is you'll notice that one of the phones on the system here is actually on a call with somebody by the name of Edna Mode. So what happens is if there's a match in the database based on a phone number, then it displays that person's name, makes that clickable, so that when you click on it, it'll actually open that person's record in the Redtail database. 
It also shows if there's a phone that is offline, or in this case, here's a phone that's on Do Not Disturb. So at a glance, um, you would know that. Um, but let's, uh, let's work on an inbound call and take a look at, um, at what happens there when somebody calls your organization. Uh, what you're going to be on the lookout for is in the lower right hand corner a notification of an inbound call i think 8, 802 is what i want to dial here i hear ringing there's an incoming call here there's the notification i can click here where it says open in crm and in that one click even before the phone gets answered, it takes me into this person's record in the Redtail database. This happens to be an individual by the name of Keith Demo. And it takes me right into the main screen here where I can see their contact info, latest notes, um, activities with that individual. So that can happen even before the phone is answered. Um, that, uh, that screen notification there, which can be turned off for folks who would not, uh, you know, want to see that, but it's only there for a few seconds while the phone is ringing and then it goes away. So then what happens after that? So now you're on a call and um, you can come over here to the Intel's dashboard and you get some additional information. So um, you can see that I'm on an active call and I have an opportunity to transfer the call to start recording. I might as well go ahead and click that. We'll start recording this on, on this end as well. Um, or I can send this call to my mobile. But maybe I want to get quickly into information about Keith. So let's look at a receptionist model, uh, which, with, which a lot of uh, advisor firms that we work with have that sort of a model where there's one or two people that answer most of the calls and then they get transferred. So let's say I'm an advisor back in my office. Somebody answered that call. I can pull this screen up and I can see that, oh, well, Keith's on the phone. Um, and since I'm, a, I'm his advisor, I know that that call is coming back to me. So I can click on Keith's name. And this little pop-up here is some high-level information that has been communicated to us that can be very valuable to organizations to quickly get an idea uh, about that person that's on the phone, like what important information have you entered into the database about that person? So basically that's what we're pulling here is whatever information you've entered in the Redtail database for that specific contact under the important information area, we're just pulling that right into this uh, spot right here. And then if you're using the service advisor field and or the writing advisor field, it's also going to pull the names of those individuals and put those there uh, so that you can quickly see some very high level information about somebody and often critical information that's very good to know at a glance. And then from here, again, I can just click on uh, Keith's name and it takes me right into his uh, record in, um, in Redtail. The other place that I could click if I wanted to is I could click on the organization. In this case, it's Awesome Inc. And it would take me in there as well. So that's a, that's a live call. That's uh, what you can do while things are going on. From this screen, I'll show you uh, a couple of other things very, very quickly before we show you about uh, entering a note uh, and a call log um, from the system. I mentioned transfer earlier. I mean, obviously on your desk phone, you can still do all of the things that you're used to doing, put somebody on hold, transfer a call, park a call, what have you, but you also have the ability to do it from a point and click perspective as well, regardless of where you wanted to send that call to an individual in the organization, to a parking space, to a conference room, wherever you have the ability to do that um, from this screen as well. Um, another thing that is a recent, um, uh, thing that we've been working on and should be, I'm hopeful in the next week or so, we're going to release it uh, to all of our clients and it's going to be available to new customers as well. It's something called a virtual phone. So I'll just give you a quick preview of what that looks like. So right from this screen, I can actually make a phone call by going like this and you can see the, the, the uh, phone pads coming up. It's trying to call. I'm going to cancel that call because I don't want to have two calls on the same uh, phone right now on my cell phone. But uh, there's a quick glimpse of something uh, that's going to be released very, very soon uh, that a lot of folks are excited about to be able to turn their laptop or desktop um, into an actual phone. So now the next question is, um, I had that call with that client or prospect, and I want to enter a note uh, and log that call. What does that look like? 
you just simply come over here to the call history area. And I actually did one earlier um, so that I would be prepared for this. But any place that there's a match in the database, so there may be some phone calls in here where it just shows a phone number, and that means that that phone number is not uh, associated with anybody in the database, so it didn't convert, convert it or translate it. Uh, but if it does, it's going to show you a little plus sign over here beside um, that, that uh, call log. Um, the other thing that you're going to see over here is the ability to actually block specific numbers if you want to. Um, and if the call was recorded, um, there's a little microphone there. You can just click on that and you could actually play that call recording right there if you wanted to. Uh, there's also an area in the system where we store all of those call recordings that you can get to them um, in the future. But if you wanted to create a note, you would just click the plus sign. You're going to put in um, a, a brief subject and then type in the description of that call, as little or as much information as you want to put in there, and you're going to click save. Once you've clicked save, it turns into an arrow. So at a glance, if you're looking at your call history, a plus sign means there has not been a log or call note or a log created about that call. An arrow means that there was. And then if you're like, well, I wonder what that call was about or what I actually entered about that call, you just click the arrow and then it's gonna take you right to that specific note in Redtail. So you can see here, I created a sample note for the Redtail Partner Spotlight Demo, which is what we're doing right now. And you can type as much or as little as you want in this area when you create that note uh, from any device that you have the Intel's dashboard installed on. That would include your cell phone because this dashboard app is available to be installed as a native app on your iPhone or Android device as well. So you don't have to have Redtail up and running. You don't have to have, um, you know, be in the office at your phone at a specific computer. You can open your, your app on your cell phone and you could actually log a call and create a note right from there. And it's gonna end up in that person's record in the Redtail database. Now, the other things that are gonna happen automatically are the information that's down below here. So because that call log was created from the Intos dashboard, we're able to pick up phone information, like what was the direction of the call? In this case, it was an inbound call. When did the call start? The day and the time. What was the duration of the call? In this case, four minutes and 35 seconds. What was the phone number that the call was with? And if the call was recorded, there's a download link that comes with it. That's something that is optional, can be turned off. We've had some organizations that said they didn't want by default the call recordings to be there and available to be downloaded by anybody. So that is something that can be turned off, but by default, um, it is available there. You also notice that when I hover over this phone number, it becomes a click to call number. So with our solution, um, you will be able to turn all of the phone numbers in your Redtail database into click to dial numbers as well. So there's a call, uh, there's a call note and a call log and um, in, the, in the click to dial component. And let me think if there's anything else for the good of, uh, for the good of this to, uh, uh, to share with you guys um, right away. Um, calls can easily be moved around in the system. If I wanted to, for example, I could uh, take this particular call here and I'm just gonna go ahead and park it in a parking space. And there we go. So now that call is parked. So any other, um, any other person in the organization could actually pick this call up by clicking the pickup button or dialing 71 or hitting that parking space button on their physical phone. So um, that's basically how that works. If I click the pickup button. And there we go. So um, I think Jonathan, that, um, that pretty much covers that component of it. What I'm gonna do is transition back over and show you guys a few screenshots of, uh, of what the uh, mobile version looks like so you can get a sense of, of, what, the, of what, the, what that looks like. And I apologize, I wanted to, uh, I did not wanna go, I wanted to go from here, from current slide, there we go. So um, on, your, on your, i this is an iPhone example, but on your iPhone or Android device, um, Basically, all of the features and functionality that I just talked about relative to 
um, the phone solution, the dashboard, the way it works, and the Redtail integration um, is available um, in the palm of your hand, uh, including seeing that call history and creating a, a call log in a note. Right there is the screen where you put the subject and the description in. Um, conferencing is available through the solution in the palm of your hand, managing conference calls. Um, you can actually send and receive faxes through this interface uh, in the palm of your hand if you wanted to. And um, this is an example of what the dialer looks like um, when you uh, want to make a call. Um, so um, I think that uh, pretty short and sweet pretty much covers the information that uh, that I think um, is is relevant and appropriate at this time, Jonathan. So uh, where would you like to go from here? Perfect. Well, hey, Keith, I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and open it up for some questions. Um, so for the, looks like we do have one couple coming in. Um, so we have one and Keith, I think this is more for you. Um, how do you change the contact loaded on the call if you have two people with the same number? That's a great question. At this time, um, you basically have to pick a primary, um, uh, a primary contact to be associated with that number. Uh, the system has no way of differentiating at this point. A phone number is associated with a record uh, or records. And um, it does give you an option. Um, there's a little icon that will, that will come up and show you that there are multiple matches, and then you can choose which one um, you actually want to uh, connect to. And, you know, adding to that there, there Keith, is, is I would also take a look at, you know, how you're using the system because um, my assumption is that you – I mean, I guess it could be a home phone from a you know husband and 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 wife, but I'm also thinking maybe um, calls from a business. If you're receiving calls from a business, maybe a business record work, would work best. Um, but if it is, you know, the the husband and wife example, then yeah, the, selecting the primary is probably going to be best. Yep. Yep. Good. Uh, good point. Um, so we have another question here. Um, uh, I'm currently using a VoIP solution. Um, am I able to use my existing phone? That is a great question, one that we get a lot. And actually, it is the answer is most likely, uh, most likely yes. Um, it all depends on the phone type, which model it is, how old they are, that type of thing. So um, typically what we'll do is we'll get gather that information, take a look, and uh, let folks know if those, uh, those phones would be, uh, would be reusable. Uh, all right, and somebody is asking about pricing. Uh, do you have any pricing structure or is there, um, I guess, how does it compare? It's really what they're oh, yeah. asking. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that, um, the, the answer to that is um, if you're currently using a voice over IP solution that, that is hosted in the cloud, pricing is going to be very comparable. Um, in most of the cases where we've converted folks over from one solution to ours with, uh, with the red tail integration, is for about the same money. Um, they're getting more features, including the Redtail integration, by making the move uh, to our solution. Cool. Uh, and it looks like there's a follow-up to our question. So I have both business and uh, parent and adult sharing the same phone. So parent and adult, that, that would make, make sense. Um, the business, though, you should be able to connect it to a business record. So you know, if you aren't using business records in the CRM, you know, and I'm just gonna say you know, Acme Corporation, you know, that should be the business record. And so when they're calling in from that number, it should be associated with that business record. You can see the Acme uh, you know, Incorporated is calling in. Um, you're not going to know exactly who that person is, but you would, again, that's why you're linking it to a business. As far as the parent and adult, I'll go back to what Keith was saying is selecting the, the correct um, primary on that one. That one's um, probably a little bit difficult, a little bit more difficult to, to, to do. If you do have any other questions, feel free to, to post them now. Um, otherwise, we'll go ahead and leave you with some, some, some follow-ups. Um, is If you have any questions um, for, for Keith, you can reach out to them at sales at intools.com or give them a call at 844-446-8857, option one. Um, Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800 206 5030 option three for support or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com thanks a lot and have a great day